turned off at about 100, so the regulator set at a 100 PSI. I don't notice anything, nothing excessive heat-wise. Um, wow, so like he said, uh, it's just the wiring was wrong. He wasn't confident he had that wired right. Um, looks like when I first looked in, it was wired 220 for the 120. Um, I might have assumed Ron where this was underpowered with the 1.5 horsepower motor. Then again, though, with a larger horsepower motor with these nicer compressors. I can't believe how quiet this compressor is also. Um, you know, they, they pressurize a lot quicker, so you have a lot higher uh, flow rate. So, wow, um, I think that's it. So I guess the only thing I can think of here is redoing some maintenance on the compressor. Um, and then I'd like to uh, uh, open up the tank and put a bore scope in there just to double check to see um, there's no issues inside the tank with uh, used compressors you want to be very careful with um, using. You really, uh, they can be very dangerous. They kill people too. Looks kind of seemingly innocent, but can be very deadly. Um, so I really want to see how the inside looks if there's a liner like you know another one of those like with the other uh compressor take we're going to want to you know clean it out basically tumble it or sandblast it and then coat it uh with a few coats of uh some sort of liner uh you know polyurethane material that uh can expand and contract similarly with the tanks um expansion and contraction so it'll seal up and uh, prevent any corrosion or limit at least the corrosion on the inside.